Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, three orange uh, triangles fully confined in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, we got uh, these uh, four uh, blue right uh, triangles and this uh, main uh, diagonal AC. And these uh, orange uh, triangles are uh, restricted uh, between them. And furthermore, uh, these uh, segments uh, are uh, 10 uh, units uh, long each, whereas the height uh, of this rectangle uh, BC is uh, 16 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of all uh, these uh, three orange uh, triangles. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label uh, these uh, orange triangles. This is the big one, this is the medium one, and this is the smallest one. So no wonder I call uh, this uh, orange triangle as uh, big, this one uh, as uh, medium, and this one as uh, small. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and uh, find the length uh, of this uh, segment EH, this segment uh, FK, and this uh, segment uh, GM before we could uh, calculate the area of these uh, orange uh, triangles. And now let's make an observation. We can see that the whole uh, this uh, horizontal uh, length uh, AB is going to be 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is going to become 40 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two right triangles. This tiny right triangle AEH and this big right triangle ABC. And we can see that these two right triangles are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. Since both of these angles have 90 degrees and this angle is in common, so therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of EH and EA is going to be equal to the ratio of this BC and this AB. And now we can see that EA length is 10, BC length is 16, and BA length is 40 as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let me go ahead and multiply both uh, sides by 10 to isolate uh, EH. And we can see this uh, 10 and 10 is gone. So therefore uh, our EH length turns out to be 4 uh, units. So therefore our this uh, EH uh, length turns out to be 4. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two right triangles. Uh, this uh, triangle's uh, AFK and this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that both of these uh, triangles are uh, similar uh, triangles according to angle uh, angle similarity theorem once again. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, we have a ratio of uh, this side length uh, FK and this uh, FA is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, BC and uh, BA. And now we can see that after this uh, FA length uh, is uh, 20. As you can see, 10 plus 10 is going to become uh, 20. This uh, BC length uh, is 16 and this uh, BA length uh, is uh, 40. As you can see in this uh, next step, let me go ahead and multiply both uh, sides by 20 to isolate uh, FK. This uh, 20 and 20 is gone. So therefore our FK length uh, turns out to be 8 uh, units. So therefore our this uh, FK length turns out to be 8. And now let's focus on these uh, two right triangles. This tri right triangle uh, AGM and this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC and we can see that both of these uh, triangles are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion once again the ratio of uh, GM divided by GA equals to BC divided by BA 
we know our GA length is this one is 30. So I'm going to replace this one by 30. BC length is 16 and this BA length is 40. As you can see in this next step. Now let's multiply both sides by 30 to isolate GM and we can see our GM length turns out to be 12 units. So therefore our this uh, GM length turns out to be 12. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, height of this uh, rectangle is uh, 16. So this height is going to be 16, 16 and uh, 16. And if uh, this uh, length is uh, 12, then this uh, remaining uh, length is going to be 4. And likewise, uh, this uh, remaining length uh, PK is going to be 8 and this uh, HQ length is going to be 12. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on our this uh, big uh, orange triangle uh, AHQ. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, big uh, orange triangle is going to be equal to the area of uh, this triangle uh, AEQ, the big uh, right triangle, minus uh, the area of this smaller right triangle AEH, this one. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula, area equal to half times the base times height. And for this big right triangle AEQ, the base is going to be 10 and this height is going to be 4 plus 12 is 16. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle AEQ is going to be 16 times uh, 10 divided by 2 minus, uh, and now for the triangle uh, AEH, the base uh, is uh, 10 and the height uh, is uh, 4. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle AEH is going to be 4 times uh, 10 divided by 2. And if we simplify these uh, fractions, we are going to get uh, 80 minus uh, 20. And if we subtract uh, this one, that is going to give us uh, 60 square units. So that's the area of this uh, big uh, orange triangle uh, AHQ turns out to be 60 square units. And here's our next step. Let's focus now on this uh, medium uh, triangle uh, JKP. And now let's focus on these uh, two triangles, this orange triangle uh, JKP and this uh, tiny triangle uh, EJH. And we can see that uh, these uh, two triangles are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem since uh, these are our vertical angles and they are congruent. And likewise, uh, these angles are uh, alternate angles. So therefore, we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of uh, PJ and uh, EJ, as you can see over here, equal to the ratio of uh, this uh, PK and uh, EH. And now we can see our uh, PK length uh, is uh, 8 and EH length uh, is uh, 4, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see 8 and 4 could be reduced to 2 divided by 1. So therefore we can see that the ratio of uh, PJ and EJ is uh, 2 to 1. In other words, uh, if this uh, PJ length uh, is uh, 2, then this uh, EJ length uh, is going to be 1. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, these points E and uh, K. And as a result, we got this uh, triangle uh, EKP. And now let's recall this uh, crucial uh, fact. We got uh, these uh, two triangles, uh, red and uh, blue triangle. Their bases are uh, X and Y respectively. And both of them uh, have the same height. Then the triangles uh, with the same height will have area whose ratio is same as the ratio of their uh, bases. And now let's focus on these uh, two triangles, this uh, orange triangle and this uh, another triangle uh, EKJ. 
and we can see their ratio is uh, 2 to 1 so therefore the area ratio is going to be 2 to 1 as well and now let's make an observation we can see the whole area for uh, whole this uh, triangle uh, EKP is going to be 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 so therefore we conclude that the area of this uh, medium uh, orange triangle uh, JKP is going to be equal to the two-third of the area of this uh, triangle uh, EKP and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, EKP and now let's recall the area of a triangle once again is equal to half times uh, base uh, times height and for this uh, triangle uh, EKP our uh, base uh, is uh, 8 and the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, 10 so therefore the area of this medium uh, triangle uh, JKP is going to be equal to 2 third uh, I'm gonna just leave it uh, outside and our uh, base uh, is uh, 10 times uh, 8 uh, divided by 2 and here we can see 2 and 2 is uh, gone so therefore the area of this medium uh, orange uh, triangle turns out to be 80 divided by 3 square units so thus the area of this uh, medium uh, orange uh, triangle turns out to be 80 divided by 3 and now finally let's focus on this uh, small uh, orange triangle uh, LMN and here's our next step I have connected uh, this uh, point F with this uh, point M and as a result we got this uh, triangle FMN and now let's make an observation uh, if we focus on this uh, medium orange triangle we have uh, these uh, relationship 8 and 4 and in this uh, small uh, orange triangle we have the relationship uh, the other way around this is 8 and this is 4 then the ratio of their uh, base uh, lens uh, ln and this uh, fl is going to be 1 to 2 and the ratio of their area is going to be 1 to 2 as well so once again the total area for this triangle uh, fmn is going to be 1 plus 2 is going to be 3 so therefore we conclude that the smaller triangle uh, lmn area is going to be one third of uh, the triangle uh, FMN area and now let's go ahead and calculate uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, FMN and once again here is the area of a triangle formula a half times uh, base times uh, height and in our case uh, our uh, base uh, is uh, 4 and our height uh, is uh, 10 so therefore the area of this uh, small uh, orange triangle is going to be one third times uh, I'm going to put in the bracket uh, our uh, base and height is 4 and uh, 10 divided by 2 and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 20 divided by 3 square units so thus the area of this uh, small orange triangle turns out to be 20 divided by 3 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the total uh, orange triangles uh, area and that is going to be equal to the big triangle area plus the medium triangle area plus uh, the small triangle area and here we figured out our big uh, triangle area is 60 the medium triangle area is 80 divided by 3 and finally the area for smaller triangle area is uh, 20 divided by 3 so let's go ahead and add uh, these uh, numbers I'm gonna put down uh, 60 plus uh, 80 divided by 3 plus uh, 20 divided by 3 let's add these numbers and if we add and simplify it turns out to be a 280 divided by 3 square units so thus the total orange triangle area turns out to be a 280 divided by 3 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye